Northeast DC. Yeah, this is happening along Bladensburg Road Northeast, not far from the Arboretum. That's where we find Fox 5 Shamari Stone live from that scene with the latest update from police. Shamari. Well, good evening. We just got a new update from D.C. police. Here's what we know. Around 8.53 p.m., the violent suppression unit for the department was driving around here within their vehicle, they say. Then they come across a group of people who are having what police describe an altercation. Now, I asked, what does altercation mean? Is that a fight? Is it physical? Is it verbal? They said that's under investigation, and it's an altercation. Well, the violent suppression unit officers say that they saw a man with a gun. And they started chasing him. And they chased him from Bladensburg Road to V Street. Now, police say that one of the officers fired around, hitting the man who he was chasing. We asked police if that man had the gun in his hand. Did he point the gun at the officer? Did he have the gun in his pocket or at his waistband? And police say, again, that is also under investigation. Now, the man was transported to a hospital. No word on his condition or if, you know, his injuries. But we do know, as you look right here, that this investigation is ongoing right now. Police are gathering evidence as we speak. And they say that there are no other suspects that they are concerned about. So keep in mind, remember when they first arrived here at the scene, they say that there was a group of individuals who were having a, quote, altercation, but none of them are, you know, going to be part of this investigation anymore. Again, they are focused on this person who allegedly had a gun. And now police are also telling us that they did recover the suspect's gun. And keep in mind, they want to remind the public, they say that this violent suppression unit's goal, primarily goal, is to find illegal guns. Now, in all fairness, we don't know if this was an illegal gun. Again, it's under investigation. The officer who fired his gun is on paid administrative leave right now, and that is standard procedure. Police have not released the name of the suspect, the age, or the name of the officer. Again, this story is developing, and we'll bring you the updates as they become available here on Fox 5.